All right, we're going to try making a long train here just to see if we can if we can reproduce any problems with just trains derailing randomly because they're longer than a certain length. So we'll try it out. We'll see what happens. We've got nine cars here. I'm hooking up this set of 10 more. So that'll give us 19. I, I don't think we need the, I don't think we need those to do it. So we'll see, we'll see what happens here. But this is just a test. There we go. All right. So, I think we'll sit, we'll sit up on here so we can see what's going on. We'll sit on top of the boxcar. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to use the, the controls here. And we'll put these down in the corner so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Get rid of this. We'll put this up, up here. So it's not in the way. We can expand it a little bit so we can at least see what's going on. Okay, so we're gonna hit the brakes first. We're gonna let all the tension and everything go. Then we should be able to. Here, let me hit my. Just give it a little bit of. Yeah, we'll just give it a little bit of. Uh, oomph here. Is it gonna is it gonna go? It's gonna need a little bit more than that, isn't it? Alright. That's fine. We don't have any brakes on any of these cars, do we? Let me see. I mean, those obviously we didn't. And I don't think we had any on those because the brakes were on the engine. Okay. Yeah, I just re-railed the engine way back there. It's not like I'm gonna keep this safe anyway, but I had to, I had to re-rail it instead of demolishing it. <laughs> so... Let's see how this goes. I've, I've got a helper here. She's <laughs> So if it sounds like my voice is being muffled, that's why. She's <laughs> insisting on... I'm talking, so she has to sit in my face. Right? <laughs> anyway. Let's see. Let's see if this will derail or anything. So we'll try to keep an eye on all this stuff. I could probably just... You know what? We're going to do this, and we're going to fly up above so we can get a good view of the whole train. So we'll do this, and enable flying. Should we do, yeah, we'll do medium speed. All right, and our current speed is 3.2, which is totally fine. Um, we're going to drop that a little bit because we don't want to, we don't want to get going. This corner, that corner right there is a little treacherous to begin with. And you know, the other thing we should do is we should flip this because this is a much better track going this way it's a flat wide open easy going track as opposed to the other way which is problematic let me see if we've got all this stuff set up we'll flip this switch here because I've done longer trains like this but where there were engines in the middle so um, I wanted to try with just the 10 mile so we can even maybe go like this and go around this way and then we'll come up all of this go past here go around there and try coming back there so we'll see what happens when we do that we'll see if we get any derails on here so I'm gonna do this so we can get a nice aerial view so we can see the whole train and it should keep me relative to the train it should keep me like see it's gonna have me go along with the train that's awesome that's perfect that's that's exactly what we wanted we wanted to be able to see that so we're gonna let it run in slow for a little bit and then we'll speed it up uh, it's been running slow for for a bit now so we'll speed it up we'll try to go up to like six or eight for a little bit and then we'll try to then we'll try to uh, you know we'll we'll bring the speed up a little bit at a time and see what happens I have had these box cars just derail easier than other stuff I'm not sure see the Tesla max speed is 22 
on the box cars. But yeah, I have had box cars derail more easily than other things. So, all right, we're gonna go like this. All right, we're gonna let it, you know it's doing fine. We're gonna bring it down a little bit though. We'll let it run here for a little bit. Seems like it's doing okay. I like how it looks like I'm sitting, standing on the, I'm standing on the front of the train, but I'm really, really tall. <laughs> it's like the perfect angle for that. Okay, we're cruising along at nine. We're doing okay. I don't know if, the, so somebody said that they were having problems with the stuff derailing with the 10 mile. When, when there were more than 10 cars. So, and I don't know if the cars were loaded or not loaded. And I'm wondering if there's just some little oscillation that's traveling down the train. You know, each car will make the next one behind it wiggle a little bit. But then when it hits the back, it starts coming back up. And if, you know, you've got a wave traveling this way and a wave traveling that way, and they play crack the whip, basically when they, when they hit both at the same time, they add up. Okay, this is starting to slow down. So we're gonna give it a little bit more because it's still doing okay. We'll see what we can get. We'll try to bring it up to 12 now. See if we can get up to 12. Yep, seems like it's going to do it. Why is it so quiet? There we go. I can hear that a lot better. Yep, 13. Let's try 31 percent. 25 percent. Nice, I hit it exactly on it too. Okay, 14.6 seems reasonable instead of trying to get it to exactly 12. We'll just see what it does at 14 and a half. Let it run at this for a while. Now what I need to do is I need to go over to this other car and get rid of it too. I need to delete this one. We're going to teleport here. And <laughs> nice. Nice. That's awesome. All right. Let's get on the ground. Hopefully it'll stop jerking me around. That's awesome. Demolish. Locomotives. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Okay. Can we get it? There we go. All right, we got it. So let's go back this way and see if we can get up to our train. Let's see if we can teleport back to where we were. Where's it at? Is it right up here? Okay, we're going around the corner. Let's just teleport to here. All right, cool. <laughs> it was just totally randomly. That was great. All right. Let's go up a little bit. There we go. Now we get a whole view of the whole thing. And it is, what is this? Did I, do I have the wrong control now? That was weird. Oh, you know what? It changed It changed the... I deleted a thing. I deleted a, an engine. So I'm betting that that window was just a function of like the index number in an array of how many engines exist. And I deleted one before it. It was like engine number six in the array kind of thing. Let's see if we can follow... Unfollow. Let's see if we can. Nope, it's not going to let me follow that. Okay. Anyway, we're still going 14. No, we're doing fine and we're not derailing or anything. Let's try. We'll speed it up to like 16 or 18. These are supposed to be able to go 22, so. We've got a little bit of an uphill and downhill here, but it should be fine. Just 
this segment up here. So it should speed up once we get over this hill now. See, there it goes. I'm gonna back up a little bit so I can see the engine. There we go. 16. I like how the player bouncing, the, the player bouncing kind of helps you see what's going on even, you know? You can see how much the train is bouncing. You normally wouldn't see that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up this way and we're gonna use the Y to turn around again. So we'll go up here and up here, there. And we'll use that to turn around if we need to, if we get that far. 15, okay, we're gonna speed it up again. There we go. 16. Yeah, I don't know if it's a specific kind of cars, too. It it might have just been the, the skeleton cars or something like that, too. I, I'm not sure. But I figured it'd be fun to just try running a larger train around anyway. There we go. 19. Okay. All right, that seems to be keeping us at a decent speed. See how we do over the, all these switches and stuff. The nice thing is if it all screws up, I don't have to clean it up. <laughs> well, it's still doing fine. All right, we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna let this do this. We're gonna let this go over the switch, and we'll stop, and then we'll um, we'll back up, and we'll do another run around the thing, and we'll go a little bit faster, maybe. We'll try to keep it at twenty or twenty-two or whatever. I mean, I don't expect it to be a hundred percent. Um, perfect and never derail at 22. If it says the top speed is 22, that probably means that you know you'll derail. The, your your tolerance of derailing is is you know what I mean. Okay. Okay, so we need to flip. You know what? We can just yeah no. It's that we need we do need to sw flip that switch. We need to go there, and then we need to put this one in the center. And then we need to put, we'll put that one, because we should be able to go all the way out there. I think, I think we can go that far without banging into the other train. So we'll see. This is a little bit nicer corner. All right, let's go like this. We're gonna reverse. We're gonna reverse. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna go to this end and watch from this end. And it's the engine is what's pushing me around. Okay. All right, this is going 12. Yeah, see, it's slowing down a lot. <laughs> it really doesn't want me to sit there. Okay. And we'll let this, I mean, we, yeah, I think, I think we might have to. We might have to, here, let's go like this. We're gonna turn off the flying for a second. Here, turn off the flying for a second. So we'll go like, 
this cheats oh man that was dangerous I'm gonna flip that switch doing that um, turn off the flying okay so we're just gonna go like this that all right we'll turn that off and then we're gonna go like this There we go. And we just need to get the engine past. We need to get the engine past that switch. We're about halfway there now. Yeah, I think we got plenty of room then. Okay. Get a little bit more juice here. Yeah, we're going to take this farther. I don't know. We could hook up the oil cars to the end too. Why don't we do that as long as we're right here? I think we should do that. Might as well, right? There we go. Alright. We need to put a... Whoops. Put a pin on there. Okay, yeah, we probably want to break a little bit. We don't want to hit going that fast around this corner. There we go, 2.4. See, we're going to stop right before it hits it, right? That should be, yeah, we're going to have, we're going to have a fun time trying not to string line on this. going to be an adventure that's the word for that now we do need to make sure I've got the brakes on the very back car I do need to make sure that we get the brakes turned off on this car see open controls turn the brakes off all right so everybody else should be good to go all right we're going to teleport to here And see, I don't want to. I'm standing on the switch. Let me let me do this before I, yeah, before I click on myself. All right, cheats, enable flying. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna. Whoops. We'll see if it if it lets us stay on the car. Okay, so everything, oh, you know what we also need to do is we need to flip this switch to that way. And then we'll just end up going around. And we're gonna go around the loop this way this time. So, and that should bring us all the way around and back to here. All right, so let's see if we can do this. We need to go forward. Just need to be pretty gentle about this, I think. This is such a bad situation. <laughs> Trying to pull all that around that corner with the really heavy stuff at the very end. <laughs> so we're going to take our time getting this moving. I just figured this would be a fun bonus episode to just move stuff without having a specific goal. Alright. Why is that switch like that? It looks weird. It looks like it's backwards. Oh, no it isn't. Okay. I'm looking at this little switch right here thinking it's backwards, but no, nope, it's right. All right, it's starting to move. Good. And then this is 9, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And the cat is like 
standing on my forearm, bouncing on it, you know, like pushing off of it and stuff, of course. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to rest over my right forearm and then like fidget while I'm trying to use the mouse so it's um, doing this you know all right we'll wait till it gets around this corner this sharp corner before we add more add more juice there we go it's getting there I should have refilled at the coal tower for fun, right? <laughs> the thing is, you can't tell how empty your... I don't think there's anywhere that shows how much coal you have left in your engine. I don't know if the pile goes down. I'll have to mess with that and see. Does the pile go down or something? All right, we can add a little bit more juice here. Because now we're not on such a sharp curve. See if we can get some more speed going here. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know what, what happens with the coal. Does the coal just... Does it show on here? Fuel amount. No, it doesn't. And let me see. Yeah, see, this doesn't have like a separate tender, so... It doesn't say how much, how much reserve fuel there is, you know? That kind of thing. All right, we're going to go... We're going to go left this time. See, we're going to go around that. We're doing fine at seven. Let's see. This is why I figured it would be fun, because it's, it's fun to drive the really big, long trains around. We're doing okay at eight. Let's see if we can get up to 10 or 11. The one thing we're gonna have to watch as we start coming down the hill and going around the corner at, um, at this point over by the start, yeah, right here, it starts going downhill and going around that corner. So when most of the train like this part, these cars, empty cars are just going over and then the these come over the hill, the big tankers, heavy tankers and start pushing against the other ones that are trying to go around the corner and aren't try and are trying to resist being pushed. <laughs> is is where there's a potential problem. That's where I foresee things going awry. Yep, we're doing fine. We're going to go up to 50%. Let's see what we get. This is why I wanted to use this, so I know how fast I'm going. I think that's my favorite thing about this. Be, other than being able to, you know, get good views while you're driving. It's nice to be able to get a decent view from wherever it is when you're driving. be able to stand on one of the cars instead of in, always being in the engine. All right, we're doing okay at 12. It's still going up. Okay, now it's evened out. Let's go back up to 60. looking great we're not getting much more speed are we we're gonna bring it up to 70 we're gonna wait until we get over that hill before we try to go faster I think so we're coming up on that soon here
There we go. Yep, it's doing okay. All right, so we're gonna let down, let off on this a little bit. Just so we don't have problems here. We're gonna turn this way a little bit. We're gonna let this do its thing over the hill first. <laughs> I like how I've got the heavy stuff in the middle and at the very end instead, you know, it's like, not not quite worst case scenario, but probably pretty close to the most dangerous setup you could do as far as that goes. Okay, so now those are pushing their way down the hill. Now we can let it go. Make sure our switches are set. Here, yep. Our switches are okay. Switches are okay. Should we go over the siding? Let's go over the siding this time. Just to give it another switch to go on. There we go, up to 80% now. seems to be maxing out. Let's let's try 100% and see what our speed comes up to. I don't think we can go any faster than that. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like we're going to max out somewhere close to 14. No, oh, maybe we're going up a little hill there somewhere. Okay. 14.4. We're going modem speed. <laughs> We're at dial-up speeds, right? 14.4. All right. I know most people don't even remember that. They just remember 56K for dial-up. Here. We're going to come down a little bit. There. 15 and a half. Okay. Looks like we've maxed out at 15. Still trying to decide whether I want to do the siding or not. I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go on the siding. Get every, give it every chance we can to to give us problems, right? There we go. Get a like nice little side view here. It's doing fine. Awesome. And that was what, what did we say, 28? I think it was 28 cars plus the engine, so. Cool. Just some pointless, relaxed driving around. Seventeen and a half. Nice. All right, I wanna see where these switches are gonna go. We do need to flip this one because that will derail us. But I want to see where these other ones are. We're going to do this. <laughs> We're going to do that. So that's why we'll, we'll end this with a giant wreck because I'm not keeping this save anyway. So we're going to end this with a... <laughs> We're going to end this with a disaster. So I should probably get a good view from up where we can see it here. Because this thing is going to go fast in a minute here. Let's see. Down this way. The engine's going to blast me all over the place, isn't it? We're going 18. See, we're still doing fine. Eighteen point four. I'm curious. I'm going to leave this up so that we can see at what speed does it actually fail. 
So we're going to do this. That way I can still move around and look around, but you can still see the thing because I'm not touching the controls anymore. We're just going to let it go until it blows up. And we'll see which cars blow up first. Twenty, because this is a big hill, so <laughs> and a curve. Twenty-one. Oh man. <laughs> Twenty-three. Twenty-five. Oh, there they go. <laughs> nice. They just exploded. Wow. I'm not even doing anything. That's great. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this time. Uh, I hope you had fun. Because <laughs> that was pretty funny. All right. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Later.